Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And let's learn about how to factor polynomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. For given this problem here, we want to factor completely 7x cubed minus 21x squared minus a 70x. The first thing when I see especially something cubed, I want to see if there's, well, a common factor, the greatest common factor, in all parts here. I see that there is at least one variable x, and actually a 7, a 7, my leading coefficient here in front of the x cubed, then I have a 21 and a 70. 7 goes in each one of these. So if I pull out a 7x, what am I left over with? Well, if I pull out a 7x out of 7x cubed, I'm left with just an x squared. From there, minus here, 7 out of a 21 is a 3, and then x out of x squared is just an x. The last part here, minus 70x, a little simpler, we have, well, negative 70, or 70 divided by 7 is a 10. We pull out the x, we're left with no x left here. And so now we've pulled out a 7x from all parts. Now we have, really, this polynomial on the middle that we're looking at in parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite my 7x, and I know I want to rewrite this middle section to see if I can write it in terms of two parentheses. Notice I can do that again. I'm noticing here an a value of 1 in front of the x squared. That makes it a lot easier. I have an x here and an x right there. All right, now I want to ask myself two questions. What numbers, or what two numbers, multiply to be a negative 10, but add, so that c value, negative 10, but add to be a negative 3, the b value. So again, we want to think what two numbers multiply to be a negative 10, but add to be a negative 3. The two numbers I'm gravitating towards are a 2 and a 5, right? 2 and a 5, I know I can combine them, subtraction some ways to get a 3, and then they multiply to be a 10. Which one's negative, which one's positive? Well, if I have a negative 5 and a positive 2, negative 5 and a positive 2, we can see that out here. Negative 5 times a positive 2 is a negative 10. And negative 5 plus a positive 2 gives me a negative 3. So, if I have an x minus a 5 here and an x plus a 2, that factors out x minus 5 times x plus 2. When we multiply it out, it gives us that x squared minus 3x minus a 10. And at this point, I don't see anything else I can do to factor this, well, polynomial. And so there we have it. We factored completely our polynomial and got a 7x times an x minus 5 times an x plus 2. I hope you learned something here on how to factor polynomials. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.